Hi guys, um, just I'd do a little bit of a video. I have just tested the new Twisted Metal, the demo that's on the PlayStation. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> I've been playing it all night. Um, very impressed with the beta. Most demos are absolutely rubbish. There are very few that are actually what you want the game to be. For anyone that remembers Twisted Metal from PlayStation age oldness will remember how great the game was. If you have never ever played Twisted Metal, I suggest you download this demo now and play it. I suggest you go through training a couple of times because I did it once. I haven't played Twisted Metal in a long, long time and I can't remember. I, I can't remember much about it. And I'm really bad at driving and shooting and yeah, it takes me a while to get used to things so I went to training once and then went straight into a game and I died pretty quickly. So first, my first impressions of it were that the graphics were amazing. Obviously technology has gone on, it's gone past what it used to be with the PlayStation, with the Blu-ray stuff, it's taken them forever to get this game out. But I am so impressed with how it looks. To say it is a demo, to say it's just a simple, here's what the game will look like, possibly, once we've finished and we've released it and it's perfect. And most demos, quite honestly, like I said, they're rubbish, they suck. They're, they've got glitches in or there's something wrong with them and I've played it, I found it hard, but that's just because it takes me a while to get used to games to get used to the controls and get good. I'm not one of those people that pick a controller up and just go, hey, hey I can do it. But I was very impressed with how it looked. It was clean-ish to say what it is as a game. It was, it was well presented as a game. It stuck to the originalness of it. Um, graphics were amazing to say it's a demo. Um, you've got options for online play and offline play for a demo. Again, yeah. there's been a huge calling for this game, so I'm not surprised. Uh, the in game training gives you, like, you have to do each control three times before you can move on. So you've got your turning, your sharp turning, your drive, your reverse, your turbo, your boost, your weapons, everything that you will need to know. I suggest you do this a couple of times so it gets into your head because I remember things pretty well. But as soon as I start playing a game I'm like, I don't know what buttons to press. Button mash, button mash and then yeah that's usually how I lose. So the controls are easy to use, easy to follow, it's simple, it's square drive, circle break, Double tap square for boost. Your weapons are on the top. Your special weapon, you press triangle to activate and then use your main weapon thing. You have to you can rotate through your weapons with L1 and and R1, left or right to cycle through your weapons. Um your main weapon is R2, your secondary weapon is L2. Like I'm trying to remember, I'm holding <laughs> I'm like holding the controller in my hand like this and going. Uh, to turn left and right, obviously, left analog stick, left and right. Uh, change your camera. You uh, use select to drop a mine. You press left. You weapon to the rear. Use down. Yeah, lots of different things. Depending, uh, this is just in the training, but you've got a whole host of different weapons to, throughout the game. So. And the second training thing on the game is uh, it's an introduction to nuke mode. It just basically gives you instructions on how to play it. It doesn't let you do any like in-game training for it. And nuke mode is only available online on the demo. So I haven't played it yet, but I will once I've got a bit more practice down. Because I don't want to just go, oh yeah, I'm just going to jump in online and go, ha ah, and die. Because it'll suck. But, moving on to the in-game action. Um, 
very fast paced for a demo. It's it's like just jumping into the game. It's not like, oh, you're only allowed to play like this much, and then you get the game, and it's like ah, and nothing like the demo. Like you go in and you're playing the computer. And you've got the AI working against you. You start off and you're in it. You have to fight for survival. Simple as. Destroy all the other cars and win. That is like the main objective of all this. You've got so um, eight vehicles to choose from initially before you start the game. You've got your they've got death warrant, uh, which special weapons are chain guns and zoomy rockets, which has it's just like the basic it's the basic start uh, vehicle basically. Uh, you've got your Outlaw, which has better armour and better special weapons than your Death Warrant, which has turreted grenades and a high capacity mag. Which, I think the Outlaw is like a souped up, bit badass police car. Uh, Meat Wagon is like a, a hospital ambulance thing. It's not like a, I can't say ambulance because it's like, that's not what I see an ambulance as. It's like an American small place ambulance, not a... English ambulance, obviously, because it's not an English game, which also which has the same armor and special weapons level as the outlaw, but its special weapons are Gurney bomber and piloted Gurney bomber. Uh, you've got vermin, which has the has the same better armor and special weapons than the death warrant, so it's the same as the outlaw and meat wagon. Uh, its special weapons are the rat rocket and the piloted rat rocket. I managed to get, I, I played as a vermin. Uh, uh, the rat rocket worked. I tried to get the piloted rat rocket to work. It worked, and then I crashed it because I didn't know what I was doing with it. Um, got the Talon, which is a helicopter. It's a, it's high speed, high special weapons, but no armor, obviously. You have to sacrifice your speed for your armor. Uh, the special weapons on this are trigun and uh, drop magnet. Uh, dark side, it's uh, it's a semi truck. I think that's what I mean to say. It's like the front end of a truck where you usually put the stuff on the back, and then like a bit there'd be a wagon on the back, like an eighteen wheeler kind of thing, where the the front of the truck comes off. You'll, it, you obviously know what I'm talking about, so. Um, and the special weapons on that are Dark Side Slam and 50 Cal Trigun. Now, 50 Cal is awesome. <laughs> Alright. And the difference, the big difference between the Dark Side and the Talon, one's a truck, one's a helicopter, obviously, but is the speed to armour. The armour on the Dark Side is the highest in the game. Full stop. But it has very sl it's very slow, and it has also has high uh, rare special weapons. So I think next time I play it, I will do it as Dark Side and just see how I go from there. See if that helps me because I died first on the other one. Uh, the next one is another car. It is uh, Crimson Fury. And the special weapons are flamethrower and shockwave. There, are, there is no armor, and it's all special weapons and high speed. So, the next one is. If I was any good at the game, I would use this next one because it looks. Pr I don't say proper, but it's uh, it looks absolutely amazing. It is like praise whoever came up with the reaper it's a motorcycle but it has like a skull with horns coming out and teeth and it just looks epic it is like if i had a bike that is what i want my bike to look like so if you came down the street riding that people would move out of the way if you know what i mean uh, the special weapons on that are a uh, chainsaw and RPG. It's slightly slower in speed than the Crimson Fury. It has no armor and has full special weapons, which 
obviously have the chainsaw and the RPG. Right, those are the eight choices that you have. You can't change the sidearm in the demo, but you will be able to change it in the game, hopefully. I'm saying that. It comes up as an option for you to change, but you can't change it in the demo if you get what I mean. So it's telling you to choose your your car, your sidearm, and your faction. Now for those of you who haven't played Twist and Metal before, there are four factions, I believe. There are four factions to choose from on the demo anyway. Um, I can't I can't remember back to playing Twisted Metal before, so this is it's like playing a whole new game again to me, in a way. Um, the factions you can choose from are the clowns, the skulls, the dolls, and the holy men. I suggest either using the skulls or the holy men if you're scared of things easily, because the clowns. If you you'll see when you go first in, when you first go into the demo, you get faced with the big clown head really graphic but at the same time it's it looks amazing because if you if you remember back to what it used to look like and then kind of look forward and go oh yeah christ that's got more graphic um and the dolls i've looked at it and i've seen gameplay from e3 and watched it then and then i've looked at it now and they've got more in detail and it looks better and they creep me out because I can't see their eyes. And I have this horrible thing that I've had since I was a child. I'm scared of anything that doesn't have eyes. If it, if eyes are meant to be there and eyes are not seen, it creeps me out. I can't watch horror films with it or TV programs with it. I can't. It just, it it's psychological trauma from and when I was a kid. I don't know what happened, but I just, I can't. It's kind of the same thing I'm... I can't stand people when they roll like roll their eyes into the back of their head on purpose. Obviously, if they do it while they're unconscious, that's not their fault. Obviously, that's just stupid. Uh, one of the great things that I touched on earlier were that you can play it online in the demo. So that's something that you don't normally get. You don't get an online community with a demo, at least not in the game. So I'm very happy with that. You get your normal uh, death match and then you get your nuke match which you, you can try out and play before you obviously get the game. I'm looking forward to this game coming out. I'm actually really excited about it. I might suck at it now but I'm going to practice on it. And I think it should be out in March. Bottom line, definitely buy this game people. Without a shadow of a doubt, buy it when it comes out. I'll put a video on, I will share it around everywhere, Twitter, Facebook. Everyone has to buy Twisted Metal. It's been how long since the last game? If you've played it before, buy it, play it again. If you've never played it before, go on PlayStation. When you PlayStation, go on PlayStation Network, download the demo, play it, play it to death, and then when the game comes out, if you enjoyed the demo at all, buy the game. It's bottom line, buy it. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm doing this because it's an honest review. I love the game. I've played it before. I got really excited when they announced it at E3 last year. I was like, yay! Yay! So it was meant to be out end of it was meant to be at the end of this year, I think. And end of the year that's just gone, 2011. And now it's like, it hasn't, there's no one knows. I was like, oh. And then we got the demo, and I'm like, yes, we got the demo! I'm going to play it soon. Um, I flipped down the side, I played it, I've done it. Very proud of myself for getting some, <laughs> putting some time aside to do stuff. Hopefully, I will uh, have time to do some other stuff later. I have a headphone review to do today. I'm going to just do a little bit of research on it, get it all written out so I can have something that I can just keep referring to like I did with the Twisted Metal thing, wrote things down while I was playing and fingers crossed that will be up today after this video and if not it will be up tomorrow because I am going to film it this weekend and tomorrow is the Super Bowl! Go Jets! Right guys I'm going to leave you with that okay <laughs>